Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you a couple of tricks with the alligator, the triple filtered gate, which is uh, new to Reason 6. Uh, a few things that I wanted to kind of showcase um, are a few different things that might have you scratching your head, but things that are actually pretty easy to set up and, and get you going. Uh, so the first thing is, uh, what we have is we have a Thor that's being played. Um, we're using the matrix to actually play the Thor and then it's running through the alligator. So this is what it sounds like. And then this is what it sounds like with the alligator. But one of the things we don't have is we don't have a dry wet knob to change between those two things, to change between the dry signal and the wet signal of the alligator. So here's a quick way to set that up. Uh, what I'm going to do is take this alligator and I'm going to combine it. Uh, there we go. So let's make sure all the connections are still right. Yep, that's going through. This is going through there. And then this is playing this. So I'll just move matrix up there. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. Now, uh, first thing, you have to have the alligator inside a combinator because what we'll do is we'll put it on rotary one. We'll have this be the dry wet signal. Or that'll be the dry wet knob that we can play around with. So let's open up the pro programmer. We only have the alligator inside there. Let's uh, have four sources be rotary one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these three knobs, these three volume knobs, and uh, actually all four volume knobs are going to work together. So let's go down to the mixer. Let's take the high pass volume. Then let's go down to the mixer and take the bandpass volume. Same thing for the low pass volume. And finally, for the mixer, we're going to have the dry volume. For the dry volume, what we're going to do is we're going to have this be 100. This is going to be 0. And we'll change the other ones to be 100. Okay, so now this knob, if you see it moving, you'll see it goes from a completely dry signal, so the dry signal is going through to the output, all the way to the wet signal of these three being sent to the output. And this is the reason why you have these different knobs. This is the reason why you have four volume knobs here, and you have one main mix volume knob over here. Uh, that's so you can create this little dry wet knob. So now, when you listen to it totally dry, you can actually make it go wet. So there's your dry wet knob. That's all there is to it. So let's uh, delete this for a second. And again, let's take our Thor, let's take the effects. The second effect that I'm going to show you is you've got everything being gated. Right? But let's say you want to keep these gates open. Well, there's a trick that you can do to actually keep the gates open. And I'm not exactly sure why this happens because it's, it's a little, it doesn't seem like it should work this way, but I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to get into the science of it. I'm just going to tell you how to set it up. So um, choose pattern number 60, and you'll see that this gate stays on for most of the time. What you want to do is you want to flip it around, and let's, again, let's move the matrix up here so it's not in our way. Let's take gate 3, and let's output that to gate 2. Now watch what happens. Gate 2 stays open all the time. Let's take gate 2 and send that to gate 1. And gate 1, we're going to send to gate 3. So we've got these three set up, and now they're continually on. So when you're playing through, it's always on. Control the frequency. And you can control the resonance. 
lower that volume and it's going to decay out, but you can't get it back again, which is kind of an odd occurrence, but if you think about it, it actually makes sense. So the way to get this back again is you're actually going to have to reset it. So those are two tricks, how to create a um, dry wet knob for your alligator and how to keep your gates open. Pretty simple stuff. Um, so join me and next time when I will get into how to use the alligator for a few different reasons. Um, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, come visit me at reason101.net and thanks for watching.